All right, lucky for me, I'm still here with Paul, mm -hmm. and we have been kind of getting some of the insights, the info. But you know, like a lot of geeks, a lot of apparel nerds, we want to kind of pop the hood and see what else is going on. So lucky for me, as I said, Paul's here. That's what we're going to do now. We're going to pop the hood, and I'm going to let Paul tell us a little bit more what's new, what's different, and why should I care. So Paul, tell me a little bit more about what's going on, because I can see from right here <laughs> that there's something new going on, and I can't wait for you to tell me more. Yeah, so we'll actually start right there. Uh, the reason why you can see through here is we have an all-new clear cover design to make it really easy for users to see inside while they're printing, see the maintenance station and area. And then if we take a closer look right here, and I'll kind of step out of the way so we can get in up closely, before we even open the cover, right above the control panel, we have a QR code here that any user can scan with their phone. Mm. It's going to pull up the user guide, maintenance procedures, all of that good stuff will be right in there. But coincidentally, hey, it's also built right into the printer. If we go up closely to the control panel, we can press our maintenance button here, and then we can actually go into our cleaning maintenance parts and we can choose what we want to clean. So in this case, why don't we take a look at the suction cap. So we're going to press that button and hit done. And so what's nice about that is, and you'll see in just a moment on the control panel, when the procedure is ready to be performed, not only do we have the QR code on the top of the printer, but we also have a how-to right on the control panel, which is really neat. And if we take a closer look at that, all I have to do is I simply press this how-to button and I essentially have an animated version of what is inside my documentation. And I can go one page at a time, and I can see exactly what areas need to be addressed from a maintenance standpoint. The bottom of the screen is going to explain what tools are needed and what the process entails. So even if there's, there's a situation where there's somebody that has never gone through this process before, they can simply press the how-to button, and with very relative ease, they can get through this whole process. You know, it so, sounds almost, I'm, I'm going to jump in. Mm -hmm. It sounds almost like there's a saying at Equipment Zone, Paul. If Jay can do it, anybody can do it. I feel <laughs> really comfortable with this. I think I can get a handle on that. That looks a lot easier than what I was used to from before. Nice. So that's kind of where we start. So let's actually open the cover and let's take a peek inside. All right, so on the right-hand side, you'll see for starters we have our fabric wiper cassette, which everyone has come to know and the love. The famous fabric wiper cassette. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons why that is important is because every time we perform a cleaning and the print head needs to be wiped, rather than a rubber wiper blade that could just be pushing ink around, we're using a clean area of lint-free fabric every time. And not only that, it wipes the entire surface area of the print head, not just the nozzles where ink jets out of. So that's one very critical component into our maintenance process that enables that maximum uptime, minimal downtime. Over here to the right is a new suction cap type of system. And what's cool about this is we talked earlier about the maintenance liquid packs. So the maintenance liquid will actually reverse fill these suction caps here to not only allow for good print head cleaning, but also if there's any fiber, any debris that may be stuck in the suction caps, it'll actually overfill and go right into a little funnel that goes down into the waste tank. So what you see in the waste tank is that maintenance liquid clearing out not only what's in the suction caps, but if there's anything in the tubing itself, it's going to just clear all that right up and go right through. That's a pack that's right installed here, and it works and coincides with the auto maintenance features. So why is all this important? Well, the fabric wiper cassette and the suction cap combined with the maintenance liquid really translates to end user maintenance. You probably only have to do about once per month. Wow, that was not what I was expecting. So mm -hmm. keeping it simple, we've got simple things for daily maintenance, weekly and monthly. And so I think, you know, wrap it up for us. Why is that important? We don't really want to be in here, right? What should we be doing instead? Good question. So if we're talking about daily, weekly, and monthly maintenance, daily, very simple. You take your whiting packs, you give them a little bit of an agitation, slide them right in, you're done. The machine automatically does the white ink circulation, and it doesn't use up any ink at all when it's doing that. So it keeps the white ink primed, fresh, mixed, yes. ready to go, prevent the clogging. If we're talking about weekly maintenance, if you're doing a lot of printing, never hurts to go in with some cleaning swabs and solution. The control panel will actually prompt users when to go in and do that. But on average, it's about once per month. Gotcha. And so once per month, you want to go in and check out your suction cap, 
clean around the heads and then you're good to go. That's going to reset that maintenance message. And when we're done, here's what I really like. We just let the cover drop on its own and it closes nice and soft and gently. And we can press that done button and now our maintenance is complete. Love it. Well, listen, Paul, you are the man. We love having these videos with you and learning every time. But truth be told, for me, this is simple. And what I get excited about is I can get back to creative printing. I don't feel like I have to babysit this. It's taking care of me, and I love that. Thanks, Paul. You're welcome, Jay.